backgrounds. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, sorry. So scary and mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's going to happen is we have 11 questions. The first 10 are 100 points. Um, the, you're given five minutes to Google an answer. Um, and then the 11th question is lightning round. So you're going to be uh, going with your gut on that one and it's worth a little bit more so that maybe if you're running behind you can catch up and after i read each question michelle is going to be giving a little bit of a commentary a little bit of insight about each uh topic absolutely so when everyone is ready Here we go. Fingers are twitching. <laughs> <laughs> of which Manitoba Reserve was Theodore Fontaine the chief? Broken head of Ojibwe Nation, Sagin First Nation, Long Plain First Nation, or Ebb and Flow First Nation? So I made the questions. Can I still participate and you guys will not count my score? Michael? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It makes it fun. And it makes it less work for Jen. She used to have to do these codes for me so I would know when to answer to make sure I always got less points than other people. So yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's an easy honor to do that. Yeah, it's true. They said, by my calculations, I have four participants. Uh, there are four votes. The correct answer is Sagging First Nation. And Give everyone yourself. voted. Wait. You got to wait for Barb. She hasn't answered yet. Oh, she's not a participant. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not going. No, oh, no. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm so sorry. I show four participants. Jen gave me the answer. So I'm not playing? I think you are. <laughs> not your answer. It's okay. I'll just play for fun then. I don't know. Um, no, I logged in and then it asked me to log in again. It's stupid. Are you sure? What? You want to do a reset or you? Well, we'll see if you're in. Okay. okay. Let's go to the next question. Yes. Uh, question two. Sorry, my mouse is. Theodore Fontaine is an author who penned and contributed to two books. What are the titles of his most notable books? Do You Know My Name, A Broken Life, Did You See Us, Broken Circle, A Long Way Gone, Reclaiming Youth at Risk, Noisy Dinosaurs, The Secret. Barbara works in a bookstore. Whoever wins the there. book tonight and enjoys it. He talks about his experience as a residential school survivor. Have you read this book? I haven't, no, but I have started reading this one. It's probably backwards to you guys, but it's called 21 Things You May Not Know About the Indian Act. And so 
it's it's alarming the the things that you learn about how things are structured intentionally to just continue to oppress indigenous peoples in Canada it's it's awful mm -hmm. but knowledge is power right and like and learning this stuff allows people to you know break down barriers and and destigmatize a lot of it for people who don't have that same knowledge no better do better yeah mm -hmm. and when ted and i had a conversation he said that it's a very important for students to know why residential schools were established and even if if the stories that come out are are painful it, it it's good to get them out because yeah. many survivors have been holding this in for a very 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 long time and um, when you're talking about that book Cheryl I've actually read it and it's really really good um, my students actually break down the the Indian Act and they're quite surprised about it and how the Indian Act is really structured around the residential school system. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, that's the, the residential schools are, is the top tier of the whole entire policy. And if they can get the kids into residential schools, then everything else will kind of fall into plan. Um, start them young is actually what was in one of the, um, the papers, the residential school review papers from the early 1900s. Okay, everyone voted correctly. It was, did you see us? Broken circle. Good stuff, everyone. Excellent. <laughs> Question three. Of which two Manitoba residential schools is Theodore Fontaine a survivor? Sandy Bay and Norway House, Elkhorn and Pine Creek, Brandon Residential School and Cross Lake Manitoba, or Fort Alexander and Assiniboia Indian Reserva Reservation School? And the Ojibwe name for Elkhorn is Washakada. If anyone was interested in knowing what that was. Thank you, Michelle. As I stated before the quiz started, I, I, I will say the English pronunciation every time because I don't want to uh, mispronounce any of the Indigenous pronunciations. And it was very hard for me, who's been, you know, a lifelong English speaker to all of a sudden Start learning. Learn Cree because your English brain is telling you that it's incorrect. And, um, you know, the English language has 26 letters. There's only, I believe, 13 in Cree. Oh, wow. Wow. In Cree. I need to step away for one moment, okay? Mm hmm I've got an idea. Yeah, like making the questions is actually a really good tool to learn. I, I didn't, as a teacher, I mean, I should know that fundamentally, um, but just the whole design of like researching the questions and trying to find the wrong answers is a great way to learn about the right answers, right? It was just fascinating yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. I did only one quiz, but I, I echo all of that. Yeah. It's a nice process. Mm -hmm. Is anyone still Googling? No, but we're, yeah. I'm just going to wait till Michelle comes back. So uh, if anyone would like to chip in for prizes, we've got a little virtual uh, tip jar and I, I just popped the okay. link in the chat. So yeah. 
drop us a loony or a toonie or do that there. Cool. If I take the website down and do it after, I can do that, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> A payroll deduction. <laughs> okay. Um, not sure how long we want to wait for Michelle. Was she able to get her answer in? She did. Okay. Uh, the correct answer was D, Fort Alexander and Assiniboia Indian Reservation School. Yay, Barb, yay, Barb. <laughs> uh, let's, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I hope everything's okay there. Yeah, me too. All right. So show us the scores, Jen. That was my um, rankings. What? There we go. Ready. It's tight, but it's only three answers. Yep. Very tight. <laughs> Don't relax. Okay. Um, Okay, question four. <clears throat> Theodore was a busy man who was involved in many endeavors that supported Indigenous achievement. He was the chair of which two Manitoba organizations? Human Rights Museum and the Friendship Centre, Forks Trading Company and the True North Foundation, Indigenous Leadership Development Institute and the Manitoba Museum, or Aboriginal People's Television Network and Aboriginal Printing Services. Could be so many things. That was a tricky one. I enjoyed making this question. Get your Google out. <laughs> Ooh, is this our um, copyright free music? Gotta be copyright free if we're putting it on YouTube. Okay, I, I feel like your faces are all waiting, but I only have three votes and I feel like there should be four. Oh, there we go. Four votes, all correct. Good stuff, everyone. The correct answer was C, Indigenous Leadership Development Institute Yay. and the Manitoba Museum. Okay. Question five. What year did Theodore, AKA Ted Fontaine, leave the residential schools? 1943, 1985, 1971, or 1960? I'm fighting with typos. <laughs> Mike, Mike's typos. <laughs> Oh, 
and they said I'd have it. Okay. Oh, yes, you can. Mike, do you have to pay for this crowd, this trivia crowd per thing? No? Uh, no. No, if you want to use it for the union thing that you're uh -huh. which we're talking about. There's a free version, which lets you do most of the stuff, which is what we use. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you can, you can do all kinds of quizzes too, then it doesn't have to be multiple huh. choice. There's all kinds of different, different things you can do. I'm just even thinking for my teacher friends, this is a, mm -hmm. a, a cool medium. So I found an answer, Barb. I found it in his obituary in the, in the CBC article. It okay. seemed to be. I found uh, his obituary. And yeah. Lost it. Sorry, everybody. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I finally answered too. <laughs> yeah. I haven't answered. So Don't much. apologize. <laughs> so, Hutton Bright, since, uh, since Michelle's uh, gone and you're the expert because you prepared the quiz, you can, you know, fill us in on what, what's interesting and but don't talk about the question we're answering. Talk about the one before. <laughs> we'll, the, we'll defer to you because uh, you, you're the one that learned everything. Getting ready. There's, there's still two and a half minutes left. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, well, you know, that was what I was alluding to before is the learning that you can do when you are trying to find wrong answers to put in. Um, I learned a lot about this man and like shockingly hadn't really heard of him before, which I mean, that is what it is, but you know, he, he could be up there in terms of like a, a local sort of hero. He did so much for his community. And the greatest thing that I learned about him was that he lived his, his life with truth and with honesty and no matter how uncomfortable that was for him. And he obviously had to deal with a lot of uncomfortable things. Um, that was, that was what he lived his life for was to be honest. Yeah, it's a good lesson, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Wow. What's that? I finally got the answer. Sorry. I was getting oh, no, that's okay. No worries. Everyone got the correct answer, which was D, 1960. Wow. Hot and bright, that is amazing. I always check myself to make sure if everyone doesn't get it right, it's because I did the questions wrong. And you are doing them really well because we don't oh, good. We usually don't have everybody getting it right. Barb, don't feel bad. That's that's why we give five minutes. So Not at all. You, you learn right. together. And, and a nice a nice balance between those two, like the, the questions being difficult enough, but also not so challenging. You can't find the answers. Mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping to go for that middle of the road. Yeah, I think you're doing a good job. So thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. That's yeah, it's fun. I, I'm quite enjoying this. Okay, question six. At age 32, Theodore graduated from the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology from what program? Education, civil engineering, arts, or sciences? Ooh, I hope it's in the same article. <laughs> I'm going to read a little more. <laughs> that would be nice. We're not spoon feeding this to you, Michael. <laughs> yeah. I had tabs open on my phone for weeks. Yeah. that I just didn't want to close in case I couldn't find it again. It could have been about 10 seconds click quicker on that answer. I tried to click the uh, button in the Zoom window and obviously that doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to me a couple of weeks ago, everything was going wrong. It was so embarrassing, oh well. I wonder if it work if you had a touch screen laptop. Probably not, right? No, so you still have to be in the um, right. in the correct window. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, good point. Good point. I don't know why I tried to click over here though, because Carrie, <laughs> I'm really. Oh, I'll have to make them tougher next time if Carrie's a contestant. Can't let them mail it in, Cheryl. What's Can't that? Can't let them mail it in. 
Nope. <laughs> okay, question seven. Uh, okay. How old was Theodore Fontaine when he passed away? 64, 79, 83, or 92? when we kind of start to unpack some of the things that we learn about residential schools and with, you know, specifically the education that a lot of these quote unquote students, I mean, I can't even call them that, but um, a lot of the education that they received was actually intentionally um, subpar. Like it wasn't even, you know, up to a standard that could allow people who left residential schools to even get jobs because there were a lot of tests and a lot of things that they had to, you know, achieve before they would even be accepted into, you know, into a job or, or, or even into school. They had entrance, entrance exams and, and a lot of them couldn't, couldn't participate um, because a lot of students were illiterate, like they didn't even have the skills that they needed to participate in that world. And I, I remember hearing a residential school survivor present at one of my schools that I was working at, and she talked about how she felt so betrayed thinking that she was going to have the skills that she needed to be able to participate in the workforce and didn't have them and, and, and that that feeling of just being completely, um, I, I, I'm struggling to find the word because it's just so hurtful to imagine that they weren't even, they intentionally weren't given um, a fair opportunity to be successful. So that was something that I thought was really interesting about Theodore is that he was able to um, overcome a lot of that and, and achieve great things for himself and, and as a result for his community. Thank you. Okay, the correct answer was 79. May he rest in peace. I got it wrong because I thought I remembered the answer and I clicked it and then I was like, that's not right, is it? And then I went and checked and it was wrong. So don't do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> don't be impulsive. Okay, question eight. What was Theodore's Ojibwe spirit name? I don't think this is a name. Huh. I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to Google something new. <laughs> I think I unknowingly gave the answer away. I don't know. I don't think any of them are super obvious to someone who doesn't know. I wish Michelle was here though, so she could pronounce these appropriately. Yep. I said at the beginning, I'm not going to, I refuse to mispronounce. So you guys are reading these ones on your own. Uh -huh. Now that I found the answer, yeah. But you wouldn't have given it away that, so it's pretty subtle. Pretty subtle there, Otten, right? Yeah. It was subtle, but if you were listening. Mm. <laughs> it's not a common character trait these days, especially people no. who rise to leadership. You know, right? right, exactly. And, and yet you all got the correct answer, which was D, honesty. And so I do know how to say that one, it's Sabe. And of the seven teachings, this one, this character is represented with the Sasquatch. That's the, the um, mythical sort of um, character that represents Sabe is the Sasquatch. Okay, thank you. But, which, which I mean, is kind of ironic if honesty is a, a trait that isn't really you know, 
as popular as we'd like it to be. Maybe that's the same thing with the Sasquatch. It's just kind of like hiding in the woods. Okay, question nine. While attending Assiniboia, Theodore met a young River Heights residence, resident who he would marry 20 years later. Their marriage would later open the door towards reconciliation with the non-Indigenous community. His wife's name is? I'm just reading the chat where Mike is laughing, saying, ha ha, you're going down. <laughs> it's very intense, this trivia. Yeah. I've never had a play before. I'm uh, pretty into <laughs> Yeah, Carrie got one question wrong, and I was I was 10 points behind her. But it all can change in the lightning round. It can change in a, in a snap or a finger. So. In a snap. That's right. Carrie, what's your name on Twitter? Uh, Carrie YWG. Okay. I don't know. Do we follow each other? I don't think so. Well, we are now. I, I was going <laughs> to say, I, this is about to change. It has to. <laughs> what is it? I'll look for it right now because I'll forget. Uh, Carrie, K E R R I Y W G. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm still looking for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going down now. <laughs> Uh-oh. I shouldn't have read the same article three times. I should have just Googled it. <laughs> I thought it was in there. OK, all the votes are in. The correct answer was A, Morgan Sizeland. Not C. <laughs> That's the actor from Law and Order. Ooh, just like okay. to, you know. Yeah. Mess it up a little bit. Mess it up. And Melanie Lynn is a fashion designer. I was going to say, isn't Melanie Lynn like clothing? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and Mandy Ingber is a uh, yoga, yoga teacher to the stars. <laughs> okay. I was going to reveal the standings, but I realized Don't that do there's, it. Only, there's only one question between now and the lightning round. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna reserve it until after question 10. Okay. Which is now. Theodore often spoke about his greatest achievement in life, which was raising his daughter. What is her name? Josephine, Jocelyn, Jacqueline, or Joyce? I tried to find a lot of information on their relationship. Um, I couldn't really find a lot, but it did sound like quite a cute little love story in the sense that they, I think they sort of knew each other and then there was a break um, in their relationship and then they like met up 20 years later and became husband and wife. And I, I don't know if his daughter is the biological daughter. I, I couldn't find that definitively yes or no. So we will just assume that it was, regardless, it's his daughter. The greatest achievement of his life. I think a lot of parents can say that. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, fix the glare. Yay! Okay, we have all the votes. The sun. I did fix it. <laughs> okay, all the votes are in. The correct answer was C, Jacqueline. Which brings us to our lightning round. Yay! Oh, it's close. It is close. It's it close. Oh, my goodness. So close. Oh. Okay, so if you win, I can read the book. So mm -hmm. that works. There are 54 points oh, between third and first place. That is insanity. And the lightning so, round is worth 500, right? The lightning round is 500 points. You have 30 seconds. You have four answers from which to choose. One is correct. One will hop off the page. <laughs> the tension is mounting. Let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Not even going to read it. Oh my God. There you go. <laughs> I won? Really? Yeah, really. Barb <laughs> wins. Yay. Barb wins. Woo. Barb wins for once. Congra Yay. Congratulations, Barb. I went with my gut. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Amazing. That is exactly what you're supposed to do. You did it exactly perfectly. Oh, that's exciting. You did it. Amazing. I want to read that book, actually. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I came back to click my answer, and it was just like, boom, barb on. I was like, wow, OK, cool. Done, gone, gone. Yep. Done. Amazing. So uh, I'll be putting the order in uh, shortly. So we, we get our books. Uh, from Tusume whenever possible. And uh, that's Winnipeg's Black-owned bookstore, which I didn't know existed. Because mm -hmm. um, it's, oh, wow. it's online only. But everything there is um, you know, lovingly curated. So um, African-American, Asian, and Indigenous Canadian authors. That's kind of what, uh, what they specialize in. Love it. They do it really well. So I'll be uh, putting the order in and having it shipped to my lovely wife. <laughs> All right. Sad story, though. Uh, yes. Awesome. Yes. It is a sad story. I'm excited and sad at the same time. Yeah. You're in, Michael, you are in best case scenario. Maybe you, so. lost, you lost to the winner with whom you <laughs> did. You get to read the book. Yeah. <laughs> Lightning round though. Yeah. Well, she dropped she jumped from fourth to first then. Yeah. Third. Oh third. I'm sorry. I was in third uh, third, 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 yeah. third. Why we have it. That's why we, we have it. it. Yeah. Those are great questions. Thank you. I'm glad. No problem. Yes, thank you. That was I had amazing. a lot of fun. I'm glad. I had fun too. Um, I'm halfway through my quarantine and I got to do this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Okay, good night, guys. I'm in at the top of our street. We can't go. <laughs> it's so hard. Are we doing this again? Are we going to have another theme, another person, another local? Yeah. I'd like to. Yeah. Uh, Jen, and, Jen and I are going to follow up with uh, Michelle. Oh, sorry, Lott and Bright and Michelle. <laughs> it's okay. You can use my name. It's fine. I'll, I'll edit that part out of the YouTube. <laughs> Bleep okay. yourself. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> and so we'll follow up with you. We'd love to do it. Do it more. And now that you know cool. how much work it is, like we don't. Now you now you can really decide. So because <laughs> that, that yeah, is it's, for sure. It's great. It's great. It was nice to see new faces. Yeah. So I'll um, I'll tweet out a picture of the winner and I'll tag everybody in it. That way you can all you can all find each other.
Thank you, Michael. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, you too. You too.